Okay, break your Bibles with me the book of Daniel chapter 3 verse 16. The countdown has started. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel chapter number 3 verse 13, verse 3, but Daniel chapter 3 verse 16, I beg your pardon. Let's read 16. Daniel 3.16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer this, to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. Verse 18, but if not, someone say, if not, if not, underline that part of your Bible. If your Bible is not borrowed, leased, or stolen, mark it. If you borrow that Bible, don't mark it. You'll pay. Verse 17. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fairy furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, verse 18, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods. No, worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Verse 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, meaning his countenance was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spoke and commanded that they should eat the furnace one seven times more than it was. Than it was, that it was, won't be heated. Meaning the furnace was, the temperature was increased. Now, verse 20. And he commanded the mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Verse 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their and the other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fairy furnace. Verse 22. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Verse 23. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down into the midst of the burning fairy furnace, Verse 24, then Nebuchadnezzar, the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spoke and said unto his counselors, did not we cast three bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, true, O king. Verse 25, and he answered and said, lo, I see four men loose. Please underline that part of your Bible. Verse 25 of Daniel 3. I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no heart. No heart. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Father, bless the reading of your word and let this word put on flesh in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Child of God, I bring you a focus word titled, The Fourth Man in the Fire. The Fourth Man in the fire. The focus word tonight is titled what? The fourth man in the fire. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 3, verse 25, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no heart, and the form of the fourth is like the sun. Of God. Child of God, this Friday prayer meeting service, where we're going to pray after another set of, set of worship, I want you to know something. Whatever fire you are going through today, it will not consume you. Amen. Are you understanding me? Fire pass fire. There is a temperature a candlestick fire produces. There is a level of temperature a firewood fire produces. There is a level of temperature when petrol catch fire. There is a level of temperature it produces. Yes, but child of God, there is another fire that burns through eternity. It's called the, the, the lake of fire. That's where hell will be thrown into. Now, despite the lake of fire, the Bible tells us how it will burn through you. 
through eternity, there is a greater fire hotter than the lake of fire. There is a greater fire more rugged than the lake of fire. It's called the fire of God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, for our God is a consuming fire. When that fire shows up, Every other fire disappears. The Bible tells us about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You can sit down. Who were, they were men who refused to compromise their faith. Yes, Many believers are suffering in this dispensation because they refuse to change. They refuse to compromise their faith. They refuse to, 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 to still work money. They refuse to claim over time. Where they've not worked it. You know, some people they, they will claim over time 40 hours when they only work 34 hours. So some believers, despite their righteousness at work, are not getting promotion due to them at work. Some believers are suffering in life, thinking God has forgotten them. Like there is no hope. Situation consuming them. But yet. They've refused to bow to the God of this world. Refused to bow to the system of the world. Refused to bow to the prince of this world. Because the devil is the prince of this world. Jesus called the devil the God of the earth. The prince of this world. That is why the devil told Jesus, bow to me and everything you see, I give to you. But Jesus refused to bow. Let me tell you something. When a believer refuses to compromise, one thing you will experience is attacks. Are you listening to me? Young men, when you refuse to compromise, one thing you will experience is attacks. If you are a believer, you believe in Jesus, and you've never experienced attacks spiritually in your career, your confession of faith in Christ is fake. How many of you have experienced when you were in the world, it seems things were going in a certain way good? The moment you receive Jesus, bang, everything went a wall. Everything scattered. Life became hot. The fire of life started putting you under pressure. You have no money to buy breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And what is in front of you is an, an opportunity to go back to the world so you can gain that money again. So the Lord is looking at you. Are you going to compromise or are you going to keep your eyes on his promise? Are you going to compromise or are you going to keep your eyes on his promise? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow to the grieving image. Because others are bowing doesn't mean you should bow. No, see, listen, no matter how much you try to justify bowing to the system of this world, to God, it's not right. Shadrach said no. Meshach said no. Abednego said no. And the king said, for that reason, increase the temperature of the furnace seven times. The people that threw them in got burnt and killed on the spot. But something wonderful and mysterious happened. Three men were thrown into the furnace. The king saw four. Three men were thrown to be burnt. The king saw four men. And he said, I see the fourth one for he looks like the son of God. Child of God, when Jesus shows up in your matter, no matter how hot life is, his presence cools the situation. When Christ shows up in your life, in your situation, no matter how things, how painful life is, you begin to enjoy ease. When Jesus shows up, in that situation, no matter how much the temperature has increased, you are trying to take one step forward. All you find yourself is taking ten steps backward. Understand that when Jesus shows up, when that man that looks like the son of God shows up, Habalagadash, even the devil recognizes. But listen, before Christ shows up, number one, he expects you to say, I will not bow. Before Christ shows up in situations, he expects you to say, I will not bow. In the book of Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 and 17 and 18, 
they said, we will not bow. We refuse to bow. Number two, in Daniel 3.16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were not careful of their response to the king. Meaning, before Jesus shows up in your life, in a situation that seems to be keeping you in a place of destruction, you must get to a place where you tell the devil, I will not talk to you in a good manner. Many people talk, see, people say they are in Christ, but they speak very, very, um, they, they speak very, very, um, um, they, 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 there's this negotiating mannerism in which they deliver their speech to a situation. Oh, as, you know, as Christians, we shouldn't talk about homosexuality. You know, it's not right. We've got to be careful. Homosexuality is a sin. So, what is happening now is, Pastors don't want to be beaten by the system. So they preach good news or suppose good news. Any good news that doesn't glorify God is bad news to God. Yes, sir. Any good news gospel preached on the altar that is in black and white is bad news before God. Yes, sir. The church no longer wants to be under attack. When the Bible says, blessed are those that are persecuted for my name's sake, for theirs is the kingdom. We are living in a dispensation where no believer wants to be wants, wants to be mighted anymore for the kingdom. Yes, but sir. yet you want the same stars that Apostle Peter carries. Wow. You are a criminal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God loves everyone. He sent his only begotten son. Yes, sir. I have friends who are lesbians and who are gays. But I always tell them, I love you but I hate your sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So change. So thank God now. All of them I know have changed. Amen. They have to change. Amen. I told them black and white. They said you are the first person to tell us streets. Stop negotiating your eternal destiny by trying to keep friends that Christ see as non-entities. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they refuse to compromise. For the kingdom of God to advance in this generation, the Lord is looking for young people like you that will not compromise. You say it how it is. God would rather have you walk alone than keep crowd and yet you are alone. Yes, Understanding me? Yes, sir. This Friday we're going to pray. Yes, the question is what are you suffering because of your stance, your stance for God? I remember the other time I prophesied to a lady. She found the, I told her where to find the cure for um, what was that the disease again? Diabetes. I told her where to find it. She came into big Big discovery. Even in, whilst we're having a, 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 a crusade in Luton, Bill Gates and five billionaires flew in to Luton to see her. They came to pick her up. Offered her 275 billion. They, not, not billion surfers. Not, not um, carries. Not Kenyan uh, money. Not even Naira. Naira is not currency, please. Forget that money. U.S. dollars. But the moment I saw this woman wanted me to compromise my pastoral office. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They want to turn you to a personal prophet. My personal, what do I look like? Necromancer. I said, madam, keep your money. But do you know what is 10% of $275 billion that they will pay over the next 10 years? For that discovery, ten percent will buy aircraft everywhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yachts will be having church on a boat yes, sir. on the Mediterranean Sea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Church on the boat that would be nice. Oh. Church service on the boat. As you are having a church, hallelujah, well is also pointing water and say praise God. On the yacht. Shark. Eh? On the yacht. Which the yacht? You're not going to sit down. <laughs> eh? yes, church on Keno, big big Keno, all those big ones. Eh? But they wanted me to compromise. It was tough. For, it's tough to say no. But understand that if God brings you to a place where you have an opportunity to compromise because of 10 pounds, it means that he has more than that 10 pounds to give you. Are you understanding me? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were faced with death or compromise. 
they were faced with losing their lives or compromise. But these three young men stood tall. Number one, they told the king, we will not bow. Number two, they told the king, we are not careful to answer you. If you are still careful in answering where situations want you to compromise, child of God, you are failing already. Yes, sir. God is looking for a man and a woman in this generation yes, sir. that will say, no matter what the devil throws at me, yes, I will stand in the face of that bastard, the devil, yes, and tell him I refuse to compromise. Hey. Stop being careful on how you answer the world. Yes. Stop being careful on how you respond to the devil's critics. If it's going to cost you your life for Christ, lose the life. Because to die, to live is Christ, to die is profit. It's profit. Eh? Before Christ shows up in your matter, number one, you must not be careful to answer the situations that want you to compromise. If it's for you to slap someone in the process, slap them. Some people caught video online. They want me. I've been getting messages. Um, why don't you come online and have um, a quick explanation, um, explanation um, recording where you explain what happened. I said their father. Let them wait for their father in their village to come and have that recording. Are we explaining the act of righteousness in church to a world that is lost? You cannot explain spiritual things to carnal minded men. Yes, sir. You can, you are, you are, we are not normal, they are normal, so they won't understand abnormal things. Oh, the difference is clear. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Can you explain abnormal things to normal people? <laughs> at all. It's only mad men that understand mad languages. Oh, yes. Huh? We don't crave, sir. Are you understanding me? Shadrach said, we will not compromise. Yes, we will not bow. Yes, Mesha said, we will not bow. Abednego said, we, we, we are not careful in answering you. We are not careful in answering you. Until you, not until you get to a place where you are not careful to answer the devil. You might die in that situation. If you read on in Daniel chapter 3. Look at verse 17. So, number one, how do, you, how, do you, how do you draw Christ into your situation when you're in the heat of, of life? Number one, don't be afraid to answer the devil anyhow. You don't need to, Don't give a damn about the feelings of who's going to get offended. You want me to compromise and you still want me to speak in a very low tone. Someone say, open let's go and steal. And you, I know you have not paid your rent. You, you need to pay mortgage. You have not even eaten milk that day. Three days, your eyes, you look like someone that is, is gone. Then someone says, let's go and steal. Are you going to tell the person for you to even mention that stealing? Take slap. Any offense committed for righteousness sake is righteousness in itself. Did you hear that? Young, young men. They'll be telling you, come. They want to negotiate your destiny. Buy one, get one free. Eh? Telling you, let's go and then um, sell drugs because you want to drive Mercedes Benz one series. Is it a, a series, A class? Eh? You just quickly go. Your destiny is now Mercedes Benz A class. Diesel. Eh? Some of you, your problem is people coming to chit chat others in church. You and you're a, you a prayer warrior. Oh, is it because the sister gave you 500 pounds and two clothes last week? So they believe now they put you in their pocket, they can talk to you anyhow. You slap them, return their money and their clothes. <laughs> oh, yes. You jump them with slap. Yes, sir. If people are still comfortable to bring you to a place, bring a discussion that will make you compromise, my brother, you are not saved. Mm. You are not saved. Daniel 3.17 says, if it be so, our God whom we serve to, is able to deliver us from the, fairy bunny, from the bunny fairy furnace. And if he will not deliver us out of thy hand, okay. If not, we are ready to die. They said they are ready to die. Before Christ shows up in matter sometimes, he wants you to get to the place where you are no longer afraid to die. Not until you, 
Not until you kill the fear of death, you will not start living at all. I always tell people I'm a walking spirit. I'm a dead man. I died in 2014. December 14, 2014. I died. So what you are seeing now is a man that is remote controlled by the heartbeat of the father. You are seeing a man who is remote controlled by the heartbeat of the father. You know how many times I've used them feeding money at home to pay church bill? Mama would say, this is my husband, you are gone. I said, I I told you I was dead. I remember one of those that I told the Kenobi, now come on, this one, the king said, please, prophet, it is you God called. (laughs) You can do that one. He's still alive. He needs to die. Then start living. (laughs) Not until you kill the fear of death, you won't start living. Meaning not until you kill the love for this world and resurrect, bring to life your love for God's work. You will not start living at all. Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they were already dead men. Why? There was something burning inside them that has gotten them burnt already. Yes, so sir. throwing them into a very burning furnace will do no harm. Yes, sir. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. When you have been consumed by the Holy Ghost, is it kerosene fire that wants to keep you burnt? You are already roasted. What, the, what is left to roast? Can you roast burnt corn? Can you roast burnt corn? <laughs> you know, when you see yourself as dead, nothing scares you again. When I prophesied about the prime minister of St. Vincent, some people said they will buy a gun and shoot me. They sent me a message. I said, ah, you want to kill a, a man that is dead? How? Where will the bullet reach? How? How? Come, our address is on 121 Broad Street. Shoot the bullet if you can even cock the gun. What is that? That is what's making pastors not speak again. Fear! Even some of our fathers in the faith, they don't want to die. Some of them want to live long. General Vasia, 200 years, Methuselah. Bishop Benson Itaosa was an un, he was an unconventional preacher. That's why he was not accepted. There was nothing he feared in this life. No man. Do you know how many times they threw him into the, the, into the fiery furnace of, of controversy? But yet, today, look, everybody's claiming, our father. Oh. They threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire. The king looked very well and said, I see the fourth man in the fire. He looks like the son of God. He appears to be like the son of God. Listen, child of God, the last thing I should tell someone here tonight, and those on Apostolic TV, those who have chosen not to compromise this long, and it looks like life have been hard. Listen, Jesus is showed up tonight in that fire. Amen. And you are coming out without a scar. Amen. You are coming out without a scar. Amen. You are coming out without being burnt. Amen. The Lord is changing your situation tonight. Amen. Where men have laughed at you and mocked you. The Lord said I should tell you that he's about to set a table Amen. before you in their presence. Amen. I am here to announce to someone uh, under the sound of my voice uh, who chose not to compromise but keep their eyes and have kept their eyes this long uh, on the promises of God. Child of God, hear me now. You are entering the compound of laughter. Amen. You are entering the compound of laughter. Amen. You are entering the compound of fulfillment. Amen. You are entering the compound of joy. Amen. You are entering the compound of elevation Amen. you are coming out of that fire you are coming out of that fire you are walking out of that fire you are coming out of that fire you are coming out of that fire the bible says in isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 yes, says when thou pass through the waters i will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee yes, when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not be born Thou shalt not be born, neither shall the flame kindle upon you. Mm. Child of God, the days of your affliction is over. Amen. I say the days of torment is over. Amen. Those things that is preparing you in life. Yes, sir. That part of your life that is flogging you, keeping you bound. I prophesy that it is over. Amen. I say it is over. Amen. Listen now, the Lord is saying. 
that your enemy will see the fourth man in your fire. Amen. The enemy will see the fourth man in your fire. Amen. The enemy will see the fourth man in your fire. Amen. The enemy will see the fourth man in your fire. Amen. The enemy shall see the fourth man in your fire. Amen. The fourth man in the fire that showed up there in the days of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That fourth man is showing up tonight. Amen. In your marriage is showing up. Amen. Financially is showing up. Amen. Maritally is showing up. Amen. Materially is showing up. Amen. In your career is showing up. Amen. What killed your father will not kill you. Amen. What killed your mother will not kill you. Amen. What has consumed glory before your time? That power is consumed tonight. Oh, make it this ministers is his angel spirit and his ministers a flaming fire. Yes, Child of God, I come as a walking fire for you. Amen. Whosoever has pointed finger against your destiny, yes, against your joy, yes, against your peace, yes, against your happiness, yes, against your advancement, yes, against your promotion, yes, they are destroyed by fire. Amen. They are destroyed by fire. Amen. They are destroyed by fire. Amen. Whosoever took your picture and took it to a witchcraft coffin and put fire on it and when they were burning your picture they said your life will be hot hey. i prophesy. prophesy the fire of the holy ghost consumed them Amen. the the coven and the witch themselves they are consumed tonight Amen. i said the coven and the witch themselves are consumed tonight Amen. Whatsoever is causing affliction in your life, in the name of causing affliction in your life, causing affliction in your life, Amen. tonight it comes to an end by fire. Amen. 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 Lift your left leg, shall fire. Fire. Come on. Are you listening to me? Sometimes you need to. Before you acquire, God will let you land in the fire. Before you acquire your heart's desire, God will let you test the fire. God will let you test the fire. Are listen to me? We're going to take 10 hot prayer points. Uh, sorry, some prayer points. We're going to go into 10, 10 minutes of praise. Now, this praise is going to be fire praise. Oh. Do not to sing fire praise. Let's go back to the 1930s. Baba Lola time. Don't sing or you both song here. Now, we're going to take three prayer points. Listen to me. Number one prayer point. Whatever is making life too hot for me, tonight you are arrested by fire. I listen to me. You will pray that prayer. You are not pray that prayer. It's not them. Um, you will pray that prayer. Someone who is tired. And who is commanding fire by, by uh, with, with authority in the spirit? Lift your right hand and say, My father, my father, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, oh Lord, 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 oh Lord whatsoever, whatsoever is making life, is making life too, hot for me, too hot for me, as I pray, as I pray you are arrested, arrested by, fire. by fire, you are arrested, you are arrested by, fire. by fire, be arrested. Be arrested. By fire. fire, lift your voice and begin to release fire. Begin to release fire. Begin to release fire. Begin to release fire. Whatsoever. Whatsoever, whatsoever. Is making life hard for me. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John 14 18 that is God's word so Lord whatsoever is making life hot for me you are arrested by fire be 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 arrested by fire masata kata leberegadash leberosh mashabala gadash whatsoever has made life too hot for me made life hot be arrested by fire be arrested by fire be arrested by fire be arrested by fire begin to pray be arrested by fire marika sabarosh 
Les bagamages vont Les prakapala Hey, fire prayer, pray, 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 pray. Whatsoever is midlife hot for this commission, spiritually, numerically, financially, in every aspect, materially. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Malaba la gadaba la gadash. Masha gadadadash. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Rekete kete te. Maragadaba la gadash. Be arrested by fire. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hebrews 12 29 says, For our God is a consuming fire. Yes, Lift your right hand and shout, My Father, my Father. Father, my Father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Oh, consuming God. Oh, consuming God. Oh, consuming fire of God. Oh, consuming fire of God. Someone say, Oh, consuming fire of God. Oh, consuming fire of God. Locate every satanic location. Locate every satanic location. And consume by fire. Consume by fire. Bring it into fire. Frustration. Bring it into frustration. The agenda, the agenda of, the of the enemy against my destiny, against my, against destiny. Against my glory, against, my against, against this commission. Against this Open commission. your mouth and fire prayer in the name of okay. Jesus. Oh, consuming, consuming fire of God, as we begin to pray, locate every satanic location and consume by fire. Malabalagadasha, bring it into frustration. The agenda of the enemy. Against my life, against my destiny, against my glory, against this commission. In the name of Jesus, fire the prayer. Let the fourth man in the fire show up tonight. Let the fourth man in the fire show up tonight. Let the fourth man in the fire show up tonight. Consuming fire of God. We cry tonight. Shada Shada Balagadash. Consuming fire of God. We are crying tonight. We cry tonight. You locate every ungodly satanic location. Consume me by your fire. That location. Bring it into complete frustration. The enemy's agenda against our lives, against our destiny, against our glory against this commission Lord we are praying against humanity against this nation every agenda of hell to frustrate humanity with a virus be destroyed by fire every agenda of hell to frustrate humanity with a virus be destroyed by fire every agenda of hell to frustrate the kingdom advancement in this nation in the nations of the earth be destroyed by fire every agenda of hell to frustrate the lives of men and of women the lives of the righteous be destroyed by fire Lord we bring into total and absolute frustration the agenda of the enemy against lives against destinies against glories against the light of your people Lord we are praying by that by fire you destroy by fire you destroy in the name of Jesus. Amen. And last prayer point. But before we take the last prayer point, I decree and I declare. Yes, sir. Every agenda in the name of, of the enemy. Yes, sir. From the camp of the enemy, yes, sir. against your destiny, yes, sir. against your glories, in the name of against Jesus. your future, in the name against of this Jesus. commission, Kapu against your home, yada against yada your yada finances, yada against yada your yada business, yada yada against your education, yada against yada your yada children. Yada I prophesy yada that that covenant and that agenda be destroyed by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. And our third prayer point, which is the last prayer point. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah 23 29. 
Jeremiah 23, 29 says, Is not my word like a fire, said the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rocks in pieces? The Lord was asking, telling Jeremiah, Is not my word like fire anymore? The word of God, watch this. The word of God is water, it is life, it is spirit, it is also fire. Yes, sir. It's also fire. It's not my word like fire. The Lord was asking Jeremiah, Is not my word like fire? What is the situation? Is the word of God not like fire anymore? Is the word of God not like armor anymore that breaks in pieces? Yes, sir. The rocks. Yes, sir. It's not my word like fire. I want it to resonate in your spirit. It's not the word of God like fire. It's not the word of God like fire again. Is it not like armor that breaks rocks in pieces? We're going to take the third prayer point. Father, as we pray, let the fire in your word let the fire in your world let the fire in your world give my life that unstoppable charge to a glorious height give my life what an unstoppable charge to a glorious height listen to me watch this when you see Kekena Pep, for those from Lagos and Nigeria, we call them Kekemawa. In English, we call it um, tri tricycle. When you see a tricycle, you hear bam, 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 bam. the fire that engine carries is too small. It cannot move a Bugatti Veyron. And the fire in a Bugatti Veyron's engine cannot move a Gulfstream G650. At all. And the fire of a Gulfstream G650 cannot move a rocket. Yes, sir. The, ro the fire a rocket needs to launch from the earth and pierce through the hemisphere and the atmosphere into or outside of this planet. That fire is dangerous. Meaning, what will help you advance is determined by the fire that your exhaust is releasing. We are going to take that prayer point. We are praying for yourself and we are praying for the Apostolic Movement Church. That whether the devil likes it or yes, that we are going to hit great heights. Like never before. Lift your right hand and open your mouth and shout, My Father, my Father. My father, my father. As we begin to pray. As we begin to pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We ask, we ask that the fire, that the fire in, your word in your word becomes our charge. Becomes our charge. The, fire the fire in the word of God, word of God becomes, our charge, becomes, our charge, becomes our charge. Becomes our charge. Becomes our charge. Becomes our charge. For a great height. 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 In, life, in life. In the name of Jesus. Name of lift Jesus. your voice and fire the prayer. Oh God, that the fire in your wall, 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 becomes our charge, our charge, our charge. The fire in the word of God becomes that force that charges us, that charges us towards a great height in life. Charges us towards a great destiny. Charges us towards a great destiny, a great glory. The fire of God, Malabalagadash, in the war, the fire in the war becomes that very force that charges the apostolic movement church that charges john enuman ministries to a glorious height and we go from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory to glory to glory 
Lord, we are asking, oh God, because your word says in Jeremiah 29, Jeremiah 23, 29, is not my word as a fire, is not my word like as a fire, my, is my word not like armor that breaks rocks in pieces? Lord, we are asking that the fire in your word, 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 the fire in your word becomes our charge as a people, as a church, as a commission, as individuals. That takes us to a great height. The fire in your wall. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your name. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive all the praise. And I stand on the word of God. Jeremiah 23, 29. Is not my word like as a fire, said the Lord, and like armor that breaks rocks in pieces? Yes, lift up your hands and pray. Even everyone in Apostolic TV, just lift your hands up by faith. I prophesy, prophesy over the lives of everyone under the sound of my voice. Yes, I decree and I declare yes, sir. every word of the enemy, every report from hell, that has been spoken against your life against this commission against our destinies and our glory that seems to be working contrary to god's plans for yours for us and for you and for i i decree tonight those words are nullified by fire amen i say those words are nullified by fire amen every word from the camp of the enemy standing against your joy standing against your fulfillment standing against your victory standing against this commission they are nullified by the fire of the holy ghost in the name of jesus amen and i prophesy standing on the word of god yes sir that fire from the same word of god yeah. begin to proceed into our lives yeah. Begin to proceed into the altar of this ministry. Begin to proceed into the altar of the Apostolic Movement Church. Into the altar of John Animal Ministry. And I stand on that fire that is burning from the altar God has planted in this commission. And I prophesy over everyone who is connected, who is related, who is affiliated, who is committed, who is associated with this ministry. Your life, you shall succeed. Amen. 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 Higher grounds and greater height. Higher grounds and greater height. Higher grounds and greater height. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. subscribe to a social media platform as follows on Facebook at the Apostolic Movement Church, at Prophet John Enuma Ministries and at Prophet John Enuma. And you can also follow our First Lady, Reverend Josephine Enuma, by following at the Dynamic Womb Man. Stay connected to our Instagram page by following at Prophet John Enuma at the Apostolic Movement Church for our church page. And to follow the First Lady Reverend Josephine Yuma like above, please do so by following at the Dynamic Woman. 
to receive daily motivational quotes, please stay connected to our Twitter account at Mr. John Enuma. And for the church page, please do so at the APOS Movement. That's the at APOS Movement. You can also subscribe at Apostolic TV to see our live services and to see behind the scenes footage of Prophet John Enuma Ministries family channel where you can have a laugh. Please do so at VNUMAS. God bless you.